welcome to Edison Open House Global Healthcare 2022. In this session, we're going to look at the work of Evergene, an Israeli-based computational predictive biology company. Now, if you're thinking, help, what's computational predictive biology? Let's start with a little video. The discovery and development of life science products is a long recursive process of trial and error that may take years to complete, and success is never guaranteed. However, advances in the field of AI and big data have made it possible to create predictive models that have revolutionized the fundamental product discovery and development methods used in a wide variety of industries. Evogene is bringing this revolution to the world of life science product discovery and development. By combining deep scientific understandings with big data and AI, Evogene's CPB platform introduces prediction models and validation systems that reduce uncertainty and increase the probability for success. Evogene, decoding biology for a better future. Now you know what computational predictive biology is, let me introduce you to the president and CEO of Evergene, Offer Haviv. Offer, how nice to have you with us again. Hi, nice to talk to you, uh, with you again. So where does Evergene fit in the growing computational biology space? Because it wasn't a thing until relatively recently when we had these very big data sets, and now it's galloping ahead. Where do you fit in? Evogen from its uh, initiation was focusing on establishing a technology platform that will combine three important elements, deep understanding of biology, big data and AI. But what I think unique in Evogen is that we put in the center of all of this activity, the, the, the deep understanding of biology and the biologist, the researcher himself. And we look at the AI and the big data as tools that should help him in order to solve biology and uh, problems, that by doing so, he can accelerate and direct the product development uh, that he's focusing on. So with all the respect to the data and to the algorithms, and which this is what can enable the breakthrough in, in his work, at the end of the day, it's really the biology that determines what to focus on and what is really important in the product development process. And how unique are you in this space? I think that instead of you know, talking about the technology in order to prove the uniqueness of our, our company, let's talk about the results. Today, under Evogen, we have four different companies, which each one of them is, to my opinion, is leading in its uh, sector. We have a company called Biomica, focusing on a, a developing drug based on human microbiome. And we initiated this company uh, uh, only uh, three years ago, and this year, we are going to conduct our first uh, clinical trial of the, uh, uh, of the first product that this company was focusing on. So, and, and this is, it's not a coincidence that in such a short period of time, we are reaching to this stage and it's only because of the quality of our technology. Another company is Lavi Bio. This company is focusing on developing product based on microbe, but for the benefit of uh, farmers to grow their crops or to protect their crops from uh, insects or fungi. And uh, the, uh, this year, uh, 2022, we are going to see the first commercial revenue coming from selling the first product called results that can improve yield for spring wheat. And we just started the research program five years ago. Again, the, the, this, uh, this amazing ability to reach in such a short time period to a commercial product that and to see revenue coming from it, again, could be done only because of the quality of our platform. Maybe I will finish with mentioning our third company called Canonic, focusing on medical cannabis, that actually we established this company uh, mid-2019. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and at the end of 2021, this company launched its first two products that actually started to, to uh, is available for a patient uh, in Israel. And we started to generate revenue from these two products. So 
all of this amazing result could be achieved only based on the uniqueness of our technology and the power that it's bring to our uh, 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 subsidiaries to reach this achievement. And is that your business model offer that you have these subsidiaries, these revenue bringing subsidiaries, or are you also involved in partnerships with other uh, organizations or companies? So we have, we, we, we have these two, uh, we can work according to the two business models that you mentioned, you know, establish a subsidiary that have a license to use our technology and build its own product, or we can engage in, in a collaboration uh, with one of the you know, big players in a specific uh, market segment that uh, can benefit from our technology. In the last few years, we, were, we prefer to focus more on the, the first model, subsidiaries. Uh, I, I, we thought that it's a, a, um, it's a nice way also to demonstrate the power of our technology while we control all the product development aspects. And you know, I'm so proud to share with you all the results I just now described. Uh, and but I think that now we start to look also to the other business model where we can present the technology to present the results that our subsidiary achieve and engage in a new strategic collaboration with uh, partners in segment which currently we are not operate through our subsidiary. So you've talked about the subsidiaries. Tell me a bit about the engines that you've got. Oh, so. In Evogen, uh, as I mentioned, we established this uh, uh, concept of, uh, 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 of a technology platform that combined AI, big data, and deep understanding of biology. On this concept, we have today three tech engines. In a way, this is the Evogen product. This is what we present to the world. And the three engine is uh, as follows. The first one is MicroBoost AI. This is the engine that you would like to use if you are developing a product which is based on microbes. The second engine called Campus, and this is the engine you'd like to use if you are developing a product that the core, the, the core of the product is small molecules. And the last one, it's called Generator, and this is the engine you'd like to use if you are developing a product that is based on a, a, a genomic elements. All three, three a, a engine, all three tech engine helps researcher to identify the most promising candidates for the specific product you want to develop from the billions of possible candidates. And then the engine continued to support the product development process uh, uh, for the specific candidate that were selected in the beginning of, uh, 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 um, uh, of this uh, uh, product development process. So this is the three engine that we are working on today. And they give you uh, really access to the whole of the life science-based industries. Uh, yes, and uh, you know, one of the example is that uh, uh, in, uh, um, in Generator, which this is the engine that uh, we are uh, using uh, uh, for product based on genomic element, uh, we are uh, uh, participate uh, in one of the leading uh, uh, consortium here in Israel, funded by the Israeli government called CRISPR-IL. In this consortium, we are focusing on developing, developing what it's called uh, guided RNA, which this is the DNA fragment that take the CRISPR, the scissor, to the specific place in the DNA in order to do the modification. And this is a very, very important element in, in achieving you know, the target of what you want to achieve. I mean, yes, you want to do some modification in the DNA using the CRISPR, but you, would like, you need to have a guided, something that will take the scissor the, the, uh, into the right place in the DNA genome. And the question is how you design this specific DNA fragment. This is one of the things that the consortium is focusing on, and Evogen is leading the development of this fragment. And this is an example for a company, for a product that we can develop together with the company, uh, which could be a, a revolutionary and what it could achieve for the benefit of, of you know, our health or in agriculture and any other industry. That's hugely exciting. And I suspect that 2022 is going to be a pivotal year for you. Tell me a bit about the, the milestones that you're expecting in the coming 12 months. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can, uh, the, way, uh, the, the milestone that we are, we are focusing on in, in a way is what we are expecting our subsidiary to achieve. So in a case of Biomica, our subsidiary that's focusing on uh, developing product based on human microbiome. So this year it's going to be the first time that we, they will conduct a clinical trial in human to validate their uh, 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 product for cancer. Uh, 
uh, and uh, we already received the approval from a, a, a local hospital here in Israel to conduct the trial, and we are waiting to receive the final approval from the uh, uh, government. And this will be a significant uh, uh, milestone when we will initiate this pro uh, 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 experiment and receiving the results, of course. And Arthur, so, just uh, tell us about the link between the microbiome and, and cancer, because that in itself is, is fascinating and it's really a new development. Okay, so um, for people that suffer, suffer from cancer, uh, and I'm talking about lung cancer, melanoma, kidney cancer, uh, the most advanced uh, uh, medical treatment today is what it's called checkpoint inhibitor. And, and maybe you are familiar with this treatment called Keytruda, and, and there is some other uh, uh, product uh, 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 falling under this uh, 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 title, uh, checkpoint inhibitor. The problem is that uh, the efficacy uh, is around 35 to 40% for the people that are taking it, and the rest, it's just, it's just not helping them. And, and everybody is trying to understand why there are certain people that it's helped them, and why there are people that it's not help, uh, patient, that it's not helping them. And uh, uh, there, some, there is some evidence, clear, actually clear evidence, that our microbiome, which is connected to our immune system, is somehow responsible to the efficacy of this treatment. So what we did in Biomica is that we use our uh, uh, micro, uh, microbus platform, and we succeed to identify four microbes, different uh, microbe existing in our gut, uh, uh, in our gut system. That when you give it to the patient, to, that, that when we give it to in our clinical trial, before giving the medical treatment, and together with the medical treatment, we succeed in a preclinical trial to improve the efficacy from forty percent to seventy-five percent, which this is amazing results. So what we are now planning to do is we are in, 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 the, in the clinical trial uh, that is going to take place this year is that uh, we are going to uh, uh, recruit between uh, 12 to 15 uh, patients that suffer from cancer, sorry, but and, and they receive already a treatment with the, uh, 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 with the checkpoint inhibitor, but it didn't help them. And what we are going to do is that we are going now to give them the treatment with our microbe. You know, ten days with the micro, but then together with with the treatment, the the the, the, the drug itself, and it, the target of, of this experiment is safety. But you can imagine that if we can we can we can we will see some case or hopefully even more than one case that we succeed to improve the 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 the, the health of the you know the people that participate in in this experiment, it will be huge. So so this is the, the experiment that we are going to conduct. Phase two, of course, then you, you, you validate the efficacy, but even maybe even if we'll have some luck in even in phase one, we might see some signal with respect to the efficacy. And this is could be huge for, for Biomica, for Evogen, but you know what? It could be any very important for every person and definitely for patients that suffer from cancer. So potentially hugely significant. And what about the other subsidiaries and their milestones? Okay, so we have LaVibio, which LaVibio is focusing on mi uh, microbes to improve yield and to uh, 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 protect crops from uh, uh, insects uh, and, and fungi. So uh, 2022 is the first year that we are going to start uh, see revenue coming from our first product uh, result. It's a microbe that can improve yield for spring wheat uh, in the range of a... Uh, 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 four to six percent, and it's it's a lot. Uh, and the, the next product that we are planning to start the res, uh, 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 re registration process uh, and during 2022 is uh, microbes that can protect uh, different crops from ebotritis, which is a, a, a very uh, significant disease uh, that uh, 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 lead to a significant damage for yield in uh, many crops. So this is a, 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 the two main, a most important milestone of uh, LaVibio. We have Canonic, our subsidiary focusing on medical cannabis, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, we are expecting to see growing uh, in, in the revenue that they will generate from the first two products that we launched in, launch in Israel last year. Uh, we are planning also to start marketing activity in Europe uh, uh, during this year, uh, but start to see revenue only in, in 2023. 
And most important from my perspective, at least for uh, like, uh, uh, Canonic, is that they are developing uh, a new uh, uh, product concept that we call them precise, which is a medical cannabis with clear uh, 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 evidence that they are good for specific pain, specific medical problem uh, uh, based on uh, you know uh, uh, a, a clinical trial or or a validation in human in, in different assay, but really to to have a clear evidence, biology evidence, why this specific variety can cure or help to specific pain, and and this is how we're going to position this product at the market. And again, we can do it just because of our technology. And the last company is Agplanus, focusing on developing ag chemical, uh, such as herbicide and insecticide. Here we're talking about small molecule that you spray in the field and uh, uh, kill, uh, you know, kill weeds or kill a uh, uh, pests. Uh, this, this company is focusing mainly on uh, uh, herbicides now, and uh, they are really advancing nicely with their pipeline. And uh, I hope that this year they will engage with one of the big company in their second collaboration agreement, uh, a, which again, demonstrate the quality of our technology. So a plenty of catalysts and milestones to achieve. So it's going to be an amazing year for EvoGen, uh, uh, you know, 2022. It's always fascinating talking to you, Offer, because actually you see the future opening up in front of you. And that's where your technologies are, are really, uh, you know, so encouraging in what you're doing. Thank, Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it.